This video is sponsored. I can't tell you how long we've been waiting for this moment, the release of Soul Worker in North America and Europe. Or, in fact, I can. It all started with the first trailer released to massive jaw-dropping in 2011. Eventually, Soul Worker was revamped to make for a better gameplay experience, changing the camera perspective, for example. Jump to early 2018 and we finally have a Western version in our hands. It took a while, but Soul Worker didn't lose any of its appeal, something that you surely saw with the Korean and Japanese versions. Its fast pace has relentless action with some great anime characters and plenty of flashy combos. And it also kind of helps that it includes a fair bit of pantsu shots, and I'm kind of convinced that's a major plus for anyone looking for a new anime waifu. <laughs> Now, don't be fooled into thinking that Soul Worker brings some sort of revolutionary idea or crazy new twist to the genre. That is not the correct mindset when first launching this game. This is, in fact, a very polished, robust take on the action role-playing game with co-op dungeons for up to four players. Of course, you can also go solo as the game is suited for both kinds of approach, but a little help does go a long way. Soul Worker features some heavily stylized anime visuals with bright, lavish colors and wonderful animation that makes it look like a dream during the most exciting battle sequences. That is, if you can follow all the combos and acrobatics that are happening simultaneously, as the aesthetic is as beautiful as it is overflowing with sword trails and mad skill effects. This current star quartet of Soul Worker is comprised of Haru Estia, Erwin Arclight, Lily Bloomerchen, and Stella Unibel. Their Soul Worker alter egos are correspondingly Solemn Sword, Gun Jazz, Miss Scythe, and Howling Guitar. They are your traditional superpower teenagers, carefully designed to be interestingly appealing to the eye. We personally went with Haru, but we could have easily opted for any other character. Considering that their pleasing looks are complemented with some unique traits and skills, it was not an easy choice to make. The character creation is one of the points where Soul Worker could have improved. The customization options are really slim and kind of make it hard to differentiate your avatar from the dozens of characters hopping around in the town hubs. Soul Worker is an instance dungeon game, which means that you'll get most of your quests from the comfort of a peaceful zone. After a short action sequence setting the story, you'll discover Ruko Town, where everyone and their mom seems to be interested in making you their personal errand boy or girl. They seem to see some unique powers in you and are confident that you're the one who'll destroy all the monsters. Well, they're not wrong. These hubs are a place where you can organize your character and your thoughts. You can purchase new equipment and sell the junk you don't need, repair weapons, upgrade your armor, craft new items, and a lot more. The NPCs are all there to give you a hand, as well as tons of quests to gain the much-desired experience points and finally move on to other darker pastures. Oh, and there's a super cute corgi that follows you around in some places. He barks and rolls over as well. He is awesomely cute, and if you're not a dog person, there is a cat as well. To fulfill the quests, you will need to step into the districts where the PvE content awaits. Hordes of monsters and bosses are waiting for you and your teammates in case you decide to create a group or auto-team the heck out of it. The dungeons start small but get increasingly bigger and tougher with the option to go for normal, hard, or maniac difficulties. Naturally, the harder the challenge, the more XP you receive, but be careful as some bosses may drain you of those precious respawners. Soul Worker has this tried and tested gameplay where you must clear dungeons, head back to the NPCs, and deliver the quests, reaping some of the rewards in the process. It is an approach that we've seen before, but it is handled in a talented, compelling way. Where the gameplay truly shines is in all the combat, though, which is miles ahead of most other online games. Your basic combos are as smooth as butter, and the sound effects really help to feel the impact. You can even hear Stell's guitar riffs amidst all the chaos. Swinging a sword or rotating a scythe is a great pleasure in itself, while Erwin loves his pistols for some long-range combat. Aerial combat is part of the deal, and some hidden quests even require you to master this art. Apparently, there isn't a block option, but you can dodge enemy attacks with some relative ease. Of course, there are several skills for you to learn and master, and you can even create some devastating combos by chaining a few of these in a quick sequence. And then you have the added layer of the Akasha system, which is where you can collect and use cards that provide an even more powerful active and passive skills. 
Combat is fast and a lot of fun, the true highlight of Soul Worker along with its crisp anime visuals. There's an energy system in place, which means that you must spend a small amount of this energy to enter dungeons. We never felt like this was an interference in our enjoyment, especially considering that Soul Worker is better enjoyed when playing in short bursts every day. It can get a bit repetitive, it's inherent in this kind of game. We do understand that for someone wanting to race their characters to end game without blinking, this can be a divisive point, but it's not as bad as some are painting it. There are other options to add more variety later on, such as the My Room system, where your avatar can hang around and take a relaxing bath. As for PvP, we only discovered a few arenas in District 6 where you can battle other humans, but high-level characters should have access to full-fledged arenas for proper PvP fighting. Soul Worker is great fun and definitely delivers the goods. It is the same entertaining game that we've closely followed for several years and should prove successful for fans of flashy, exciting, and visually gorgeous action MMOs. It is still early days, but the game is already one of the most exciting free-to-play releases of recent years and probably the best instant-based dungeon battler ever created. But time will tell. Ha <laughs> ha